Hey everyone, my name is Fritch Flounder, and I will be your hostess for this evening. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Today I'm going to play a visual novel for you, which I've been wanting to do for a little while now, but I wasn't so certain visual novels would like translate well to Let's Plays because, you know, there's not a lot of movement going on and it's mostly reading. And um, But I really like this one, it's called Locked In, uh, it's free, and I'll try to put a download link in the description. I keep itching my face, I'm so itchy, I'm so itchy. But um, I really love the visuals, and I hope you'll join me on this little uh, new experiment of mine. But, uh, okay, so let's go. Let's go. Oh, introduction, of course. Good intro. Good intro. Accident. An undesirable and unfortunate happening that occurs unintentionally usually results in harm, injury, damage, or loss, casualty, mishap, automobile accident. A fortuitous circumstance, quality, or characteristic. Oh, you didn't think I was just going to do it. I did it. I'm not blind. Not totally. I can detect light. Sometimes it's pitch black, like being in a cave. Other times it's bright, white. It's like being on a frozen tundra, or some icy Jovian moon. I feel cold, there's nothing to see and nowhere to go. I can't open my eyes, can't move, can't speak. I can hear, I know I'm in the hospital, I know there was some kind of accident. What the hell happened to me? Oh, I have Ravens as nurses. Beautiful. Nurse! I was surprised when I heard Dr. Nolan's never on call that early. She's a family friend or something. I think she knows the wife. Hmm. I guess that's why she got here so fast. I still can't believe Jacqueline Brown is in a coma here, at our hospital. I'm assuming that's me. I'm famous! Ho ho! Nurse. Brought her down a peg, I bet. Oh, you bitch. Not likely. Don't you have a bedpan to change somewhere? Oh, snap. Watch yourself. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep it cool from now on. I tell it like I see it. Well... Tell it silently, in your mind. Yeah. Alright, alright. That was really cool, the little birds. They turn off the lights whenever I'm alone in here. A wing in this hospital is named after my family. You think they could have spared the electricity? Yeah, you tell it. They think I'm some kind of vegetable. They don't know I can hear, that I can detect light, that I'm aware. It doesn't make sense, but it gives me time to think and figure this thing out. Most people would go crazy sitting in the dark. Fortunately, I'm not most people. Now let's get a little color in here. Ooh, that's the start. And some music. Ah, much better, but not quite. Good music. Oh, chandelier. There. Perfect. One of my psychology professors told me to imagine what the subconscious as a my subconscious as a room. My own personal room. He asked what type of room it would be, what type of wallpaper it would have, stuff like that. I told him I'd have a room with a long entry, covered in gold leaf, floor to ceiling, with a massive chandelier. When visitors came, they would be humbled. 
He asked me what I thought that said about my personality, and I told him, hell if I knew. He was a psychologist. Ah! Snap! I got an A in that class, just like all the others. But on my final, he wrote, be good. Just like that. Capital B, capital G. I'd forgotten about that until now. I haven't thought about him in years, but now I know that I'm sitting in my gold leaf room, trying to sort this thing out. It all comes back to me. Be good. Be good. Be good. Be good, Jacqueline. Hmm. I like the writing style. It's really nice. It's very um, thoughtful. I learned something today. Ooh, in a coma. Wow, that's amazing. I can barely move my left little finger. Ah. At first I thought I was imagining things, imagining the sensation of movement, but then I heard the sound of the sheet under my nail. Ah. That's all I need to hear. It means I can get better. I will get better. But I still have to figure out what happened. I keep thinking back, trying to remember. It was raining hard. I heard one of the nurses say it rained nearly six inches that night. It was dark, past midnight. The road was deserted. Charles was driving. Wait, no, he wasn't. I was driving. I never drive. Charles must have been sick, but no, that can't be right. Charles is never sick. Ooh. That's why I hired him. Where was Charles? There was a sound. That's right. There was a phone call. Ah. I had the phone on vibrate, and I could barely hear it over the rain. I reached for it. Seems early for the nurses. Indeed. Seems quiet for the nurses. Who is that? Kimber. It's Kimber. Jacqueline. It's me. Kimber. Dedicated assistant. My loyal assistant, Kimber. There was a time I thought you'd do anything for me. That was before I figured out that you were stealing from the company. Ooh, drama. Slicing off tiny slivers here and there and stashing them away in your own private piggy bank. Oh, so much sass. You were supposed to shred the special files if anything ever happened to me. Did you shred the files? Have you remained loyal? Can I trust you? I wonder. Dr. Nolan says you're in a persistent coma and you might never recover. Nolan is no fool. She has to know I'm awake. Why hasn't she told anyone? Nolan is in on it! I don't know. Mechum is going to take over the firm. I just know it. I wish I had a way to fight back to protect everything you've built. I wish I knew if you were still in there. Somewhere. If only you could give me a sign. What do you think you're doing? Delilah. Delilah. My soon-to-be ex-wife, Delilah. Oh, we got some, like, whole stuff going on. Lesbian stuff. I like that. Intelligent, beautiful, resourceful. She's everything a CEO's wife should be, except for the part where she loves the firm more than me. Oh. She wanted to be involved in major business decisions, but I disagreed, and the fights got ugly. I was going to file for divorce. I've already filed out the papers. Filled out the papers. Oh, Delilah. No matter what happens to me, I'm sure you'll find a way to take care of yourself. You always do. It's what I love about you. Loving, sp loving spouse. You're bringing business in here? She needs her rest. Oh, I'm getting plenty of that, trust me. Spare me. I bet you've already ransacked her home office. How about the divorce papers? Did you find those? You'll have a hard time proving Jackie wanted a divorce. Proof? You want proof? I have copies. And your handwriting? Both of you have to get out of here. Sasha. Excuse me? I have just as much right. I can feel your negative energy all the way on the other side of the building. It's bad for Jack's spirit. How can you expect her to recover with you hovering around spreading your toxins everywhere? Oh my god, I don't like this one. Toxins. Forget this, I have somewhere to be. Sasha, I can see you're upset, but Jackie's my wife. I'm entitled to see her. If you want privacy, fine. Ten minutes. So this is it, Jack? 
Sasha, younger si of course. Sasha, my kid's sister. We're in our 40s, but she'll always be a kid to me. Always three years behind, ten steps behind, four million dollars behind. Oh, she's poor. Or she, I don't know. You never thought ahead. Not like I did. You skipped out on the company when times got rough, when things improved, and you wanted back in. I said no. Oh, good for you. I know you never forgave me for it. Family's supposed to stick together, but you are a financial liability, and we both knew it. In our family, our business always comes first. I knew something bad would happen to you one of these days. Is this the part where you prattle on about karma or whatever new thing you're into? Did you divine this into male oil? Did you divine this in mail order tea leaves or the dreads of your Starbucks cup? This girl is so snappy. Apparently, Dr. Nolan thinks you're in comatose and you might never wake up. That's a nasty rumor going around. She won't give me the time of day, and the staff won't let me see your records. This is horseshit. I know you're in there, Jack. I know you can hear me. You've got a strong spirit, stronger than anyone I have ever known. If anyone can pull through this thing, it's you. Yeah. Normally, this is a point where I'd make some snide joke about auras or chakras, but damn it, she sounds like she really means it. I didn't realize how much I missed her. <laughs> All right. You and I haven't been on speaking terms in a long time. Maybe I shouldn't be here. Maybe you need time alone so you can heal. But this all feels so wrong. I'm doing like my Shatner. You're in a coma. And the lawyer is dead, and I don't believe in coincidences. The police say Brenda committed suicide around midnight, but it doesn't feel right. I remember Brenda. She wouldn't just take a handful of pills and call it a night. So many more people. Wait, Brenda. I can't let it go. I won't let it go. I'm going to find out what happened. Whether you can hear me or not. Whether you care or not. I owe you that much, at least. Brenda's... dead? A lot of women in this. People like me don't have friends. We have trusted advisors. Brenda was my most trusted advisor. She protected me from the board, from my wife, from my family. Sometimes she even protected me from myself. I remember now. I was going to see her. I was supposedly about the divorce papers and some other things. But that was a pretense. I just wanted to talk. Really talk. With someone who understood me. I felt like I was at the end of my rope. Brenda has my lawyer for dec has been my lawyer for decades. I went to see her in her own office all the time, often late. There's no such thing as coincidence. Rewind, Jacqueline. Think. It was dark. It was raining. Someone called. I reached for the phone. What am I forgetting? Why is it so hard to remember? Think, Jacqueline. Think! Okay, so that's gonna be it for now. I think. I'm gonna save the rest for next time. It's been a while, but I really like where this story is going. It's really interesting. It's very. I'm trying to. I know I kind of am a little silly at times, but I'm trying to, like, you know, um. I'm trying to be serious, but, you know, and stay in the character, but, ah, that's who I am, whatever, but, um, okay, so, tell me if you like this, if you didn't like it, and I'll see you next time, okay, bye, everybody, bye.